Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sporty's Flight Simulator Department's Product Pie Reps. Today, we are gonna talk about the Turtle Beach Velocity One Flight Yoke. This is a piece that has uh, immense interest. It is now available, and I really like it because it packs a lot of punch in a very small area. So let's jump into some of the details. I'm gonna start with the basics. Let's talk about the yoke. Um, this is a very smooth operating yoke. It's one of the few yokes on the market that has a full 90 degrees of travel, as you can see. Um, it, it's nice because there are a lot of buttons also in a small area. On either side of the yoke, we have a four-way hat switch. We also have two separate eight-way hat switches, which are typically uh, set up for views. We have two additional buttons, think parking brake, uh, maybe something of that sort. Uh, we have two buttons on the top which are currently configured to left brake and right brake. And then on the back side of the yoke, there are uh, bumpers, if you will. Now, the way it's configured currently is for yaw control on these bumpers. Uh, there have been some other yokes that have tried to have uh, a type of bumper to simulate yaw control, and they were lacking. They were very uh, kind of jumpy, they weren't smooth. And I was really taken aback by how smooth and how precise I could get to control small, precise pushes uh, of the yoke or the rudder pedals on this. I usually say one of the things you need are some rudder pedals to really uh, fly a coordinated flight, and the Velocity One really does uh, give you strong control of the yaw. So you can fly crosswind approaches down, stay on the center line. Uh, it's a good piece. Uh, on the front panel of the yoke right here we have our enunciator panel lighting up as you can see um, currently we've got master caution we've got engine oil temp uh, alt fuel flow there's also a blank template that you can choose what kind of commands will be illuminated it'll take a little bit of programming but you could have this configured whichever way you would like and that way get more uh, realistic towards the way you like to fly uh, on the front face of the Velocity One yoke, there is a very um, nicely set up screen, uh, high def, and it gives you a lot of feedback on how your airplane and your system is set up. A couple of the things, and I won't get into all of them, uh, that you can take care of uh, would be the profile. You can set default, you can set single engine, you can set twin engine jet from here without having to pause the program. Uh, we can get into uh, settings and choose what our preferences are for say the color we want on our velocity one so really up to whatever uh, you're in the mood for you can also do that configuring of the enunciator panel uh, and then one of the most valuable pieces of the programming of this yoke is training in the training screen you can go ahead and press any button and it will tell you what that's assigned to uh, this is your throttle, this is your prop, uh, this is configured to views outside the aircraft. So no longer are the days of jumping in here, plugging it in, it's already pre-programmed, and saying I wonder what this button does. Well, this button is increase flaps, um, decrease flaps. It, it's really a, uh, a thoughtful design feature for someone who wants to plug this in but not spend you know, 20, 30 minutes configuring it all, it's ready to go, and it can take you through understanding what all these buttons do. So really a great feature about the Velocity One. Uh, but that's enough about the yoke. Let's get to the throttle. The throttle is a piece that connects on to your yoke right here. There's no internal wires, the wiring's in the back, so no worries about uh, anything breaking in here. We have our four levers, which can be configured uh, currently as, I uh, think, uh, jetliner, if you will. But it also comes with replaceable knobs. Say if you're flying uh, a beach craft or anything of that sort that incorporates the knobs, you can reconfigure these for the correct colors. Uh, we have 10 buttons up here. Uh, and Turtle Beach was listening. One of them out of the gate is always programmed for parking brake. So you can make sure you're taken off and flying as quickly as possible. And then a unique part about this throttle is it incorporates the vernier style throttle levers in addition to these levers. Uh, there's very few vernier style uh, setups out in the simulation world, but if you're flying a Cessna style aircraft, uh, which are majority of my hours, you're used to these push and pull levers. So really a nice feature that they incorporated 
didn't cause a lot more room and gives you the option of vernier style or the typical levers. Uh, another thing included in this yoke is a uh, trim wheel. And I will say this is one of the best tensioned and feeling trim wheels I've ever used in, on a flight simulator piece. It's very accurate, it's not quick to jump, it's very smooth operating, uh, pre-programmed, and just another thoughtful piece that they incorporated that didn't add to the profile of it. Uh, another feature worth discussing is uh, the mounting options. So right here we have C-clamp screws that allow you to, to clamp this down to the table and an included Allen wrench so that we can loosen or tighten these as need be. Also an input so that uh, you don't lose this wrench and then it's not there when you need it. And a magnetized uh, cover so that it looks smooth. Now I see uh, after uh, market pieces or replacement pieces for this coming out that could maybe prop up say uh, your EFB. You could have your iPad or another tablet right here running for flight or something of that sort. Um, would be very simple to make and work with this setup. So I see a lot of future for this. Uh, and overall a really great piece whether you're new to flight simulation, you've got a lot of experience and you know what you want. Um, this gives you all the things out of the box that you could want and then also is customizable towards uh, your, you know, whatever your heart desires. Uh, the final thing I will mention is this is Xbox compatible. So it works with the Xbox X or the Xbox S platform. Uh, it is the only yoke, to my understanding, that will work with the Xbox. There's a couple sticks out there that will, but this is the only yoke that will work with an Xbox. You may have surmised that by seeing the Xbox button here and a couple of the other features that are similar to an Xbox controller. But whether you're flying this on a PC, as I am right now, or the Xbox platform, a really great piece to make sure you're flying digitally as you would in an actual airplane. So we covered a lot. I hope this video did help you out, maybe answered some questions, gave you some insight as to the Velocity One. We'll continue to create blogs and videos reviewing this piece. And as always, we hope you have fun digitally flying.